Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest expansion-packed episode of the Switch It Up Show. I'm your host, Seth Trav, today, joined by our friend, Glenn. He is, of course, at From the Crib. How you doing today, buddy? Oh, I'm doing better now that I'm hearing the wonderful sounds of your voice, sir. That's right, my man. Today, we're going to be talking all about Ironcast, a great game that we got to play. But first, my friend, we're going to talk about some other stuff that we're playing. That's in our first segment, The Inventory, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, it's the segment where we tell you what we're playing on the Nintendo Switch. What are you doing today, my man? I mean, do I have to cut this music off? We usually let it roll for a minute. Ah, oh, you love it. You love it so much. I do, I do. All right, all right. I'll be, I'll, be, I'll be a professional here. Hold on, hold on. Because, you know, you're cracking the whip of authority here. Oh, my God. There we go. There you go. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to talk, um, a little bit about, uh, Splatoon in, like, the next section, uh, but Splatoon is, like, where I'm living in the world of the Switch, uh, right now. Uh, I'm going on about it for a minute. Dude, I can't, I can't get enough. It is, like... Tell me get it. It is, uh, you definitely need to. It is fulfilling that, like, need that, uh, I have, like, for Destiny, uh, because there are so many, like, you're constantly, like, getting, like, money or, like, Glimmer and Destiny speak. Uh, we can go and you can buy new stuff. You're always unlocking different abilities for your gear as it pops up. Um, you can re-roll all, like, the different perks that your gear has. Uh, and every day, every day is, like, Friday um, in Destiny on Splatoon. There's every this, day. Yeah, there's, like, this, uh, there's this merchant who, like, every, I think it's, like, every 12 hours he's getting, like, new stuff. It's constantly, like, it's staggered throughout the day. So if you check the Splatoon app, um, you'll see all the stuff that he's selling. So it's constantly, like, new things that you can buy and, like, customize. So um, it's fulfilling that Destiny itch until uh, Destiny 2 comes out, for sure. I'm having a great time with it. Tons of customization, huh? Yeah, man, it's a lot of fun. It's a good time. Not all that? Everybody needs to have it. If you don't have Splatoon, I don't know what's wrong with you. I dig that. I definitely dig that. I'm still uh, doing DeSega. Still going on these side, uh, getting a little side action on DeSega 5. And, of course, Iron Cast. Because yeah, this game has been been fulfilling a puzzle itch that I got. Love a good puzzle. Yeah, we've been talking like all the puzzle games lately on uh, the Switch It Up show. It seems like uh, every week there's another one coming out, and that's I've learned that that's not necessarily a bad thing. God no, I love a good puzzler. Yeah, yeah. cool man. Well, all right, that's it for that. Uh, but now, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go right into our next segment: potent power ups. Uh, this is the segment where we talk about the news. We let you know what's going on. We let you know what you may want to power up with. Uh, coming up, we got first big bit of information. It was the first ever Splatfest results were announced. Why don't you tell us all about that, my man? Yes, sir. So for uh, the first Splatfest in Splatoon 2. Uh, now, do you know anything about the Splatfest, Mr. Trev? It sounds like the objective is like a worldwide goal to maybe get things covered in paint you are absolutely correct so basically oh is it really yeah 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 do you remember did you have a wii uh no i did not oh my god oh my Skipped god out on the way i'm sad well there used to be this thing um like this app on the wii um like a nintendo app it was free and like pretty much everybody downloaded it um but it was called everybody votes where nintendo would ask a question and they'd be like you know do you like planes or trains more uh, and people, you would just answer it, and then you'd not see... Not automobiles? Nah, not automobiles. Uh, but then you'd see kind of like, you know, what everybody voted for. And it was, like, like weird, but it was cool. Um, and basically, Splatfest kind of does the similar thing. They'll pose a question, uh, and you get to, like, answer it. And it determines which team you're on. So this, this Splatfest, the question was um, ketchup or mayo. Okay. So for you, ketchup or mayo? Ketchup. Uh, so, yeah, of course, I want ketchup as well. I feel like you have to. Ketchup's way too good. It's it's good on more or less anything. But so then it splits into two teams, and for all from midnight, um, you know, Saturday Saturday morning, all the way up until midnight on Sunday morning, the splat fest occurs, uh, where it's like you know, team ketchup versus team mayo, um, both in like solo games, team games, and just like overall, whoever, um, whichever got more votes. Team Ketchup got more votes, but win-wise, Team Mayo uh, won. So it's like this one-day event um, where you can go through um, and like earn different rewards. Um, there's not really, like, I don't really know what the equivalent in Destiny would be. Uh, almost like if the Nightfall only took place on, like, one day. Sounds like Trials. Yeah, it only happens one day, and they only do it, they do it about every other month. 
uh, is what it works out to be. Um, so it's a cool event, and you can actually go through. Um, and the Team merchant who's Mayo, though. what was that? Yeah, Team Mayo. Mayo, dude. Mayo's strong players. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what I would put. Like, I mean, I don't mind Mayo on like a couple things. Like, you know, I like a good egg salad, but I'm, I'm not not huge on Mayo. But Mayo Mayo won, but they didn't win popular vote. Um, but it happens about every other month, uh, and it's it's super cool. Uh, it's one of the very many awesome things uh, with Splatoon. There's so many different modes to play. Um, I just wish the like the voice chat and like playing with your friends was a little bit easier because it's a little convoluted. Hopefully it'll get there. But I had a great time with it, man. Mm-hmm. That's good, man. That's good. Uh, that's about all the news we have this week. Uh, if we missed anything, let us know over at Switch It Up Show on Twitter. But for now, my dude, we're looking to the future. We are going to press continue. Find out the new releases coming out this week on the Nintendo Switch. Indeed we are, sir. And we got a whole bunch this week. Uh, and the first one up is one that we're going to talk a little bit about on uh, um, in our next segment, Let's Play. But do you want to give the people a brief description about Iron Cast just so they have a little bit of a taste? A brief description of Iron Cast. Yeah, the, the, comes the, out... The, the, comes out tomorrow yeah. actually oh what day is that uh that would be uh it would be the August 10th, 10th. <laughs> i'm like looking right at the calendar too i'm like um uh <laughs> august 10th 2017 iron cast is a puzzler also sort of rpg uh where it's a lot like a bejeweled where you make connections of certain shapes and then you fire off weapons for this mech unit that you were using that's a very very generalized description I, I love it i love it if you want to know more stay tuned for the next section uh speaking of things uh that are up next there's another game coming out this week called phantom trigger uh in phantom trigger um it's kind of cool it's like a 2d side scrolling uh, uh game where you are using uh like you control this guy uh it's, everything's like a neon color uh it's almost like kind of like Castlevania or maybe Mega Man. Uh, the graphics are super bright, um, although they're still pretty retro at the same time. Um, you have oh. to you can cast spells um, when you're when you're like running around throwing like combos. Um, the description uh, on the eShop is super vague, uh, so if it sounds like you know I'm not describing it very well, they, they're not setting me up for success. Uh, but <laughs> it, it does look cool. Um, we will be talking about this on a later episode, uh, and it looks like a good time. It's Phantom Trigger. It's fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents in the eShop. There's also another game coming out called Rocket Fist. Um, which looks Ooh. pretty cool. Um, yeah. it's, it's almost like uh, it's like robots meets dodgeball meets rockets. Um, you you are set up in like different arenas, uh, and it's one team versus another in like this crazy like rocket propelled version of dodgeball. Um, I would love to talk about this. This is another you know famous late addition uh, to like the list uh, that Nintendo puts out each week. It seems like they're always kind of sneaking another one past. Uh, and this one looks fun. It's only nine dollars and ninety nine cents, so I very well may end up uh, picking that one up. But hopefully, we can talk about it. it sounds like the game of games, really. Rocket Fist. It does. My God. It does, man. It sounds like Rocket League. It does sound a lot like Rocket League, and that was a great sleeper hit. Not even a sleeper. That was a loud hit. Yeah, man. Um, people, people are huge. Almost as loud as the hit that we have uh, today in Let's Play, because we are playing Iron Cast, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is the game that our friend Glenn and I both uh, had the honor of reviewing. I'll give you a little bit of info on it. Uh, the deeper picture to Ironcast is that there's a bold story to it where you're in, I think, 1940-something, 1940 1945? It, it, it is uh, kind of set in, like, it, like in the past. Or no, it's very, 1886 was what it was. It's very steampunky. But I know, yes. I mean, I know I am, I am super excited to talk about this game, but there is one more release coming out this oh is there there is uh oh my god the music stopped i thought we were going oh no 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 we were just we were just we were running it out we were running it out we'll hit it though there we go Uh, (laughs) the only last game that's coming out this week is flip wars which is actually a first party game by nintendo um dlc only uh and it kind of pulls this page out of splatoon's book 
where each person is assigned a different color and you have to like flip over these panels like really quick and try to cover up as much room as possible. Um, there's a bunch of different modes. There's 12 different arenas. Um, you can play on teams. You can play against each other. You can play with your friends, although well, who knows what that's like. Uh, it looks like a lot of fun. It looks kind of like Splatoon without paint. Uh, it's only $9.99 on the store. I recommend that you check it out. Looks like a good I time. I dig that. Sorry to sneak in there, but I'm like, oh, it's no, Nintendo. I'm like, we gotta, we gotta, can't leave it out, can't leave it out. There that's perfectly fine. I'm looking here at the at the list. You went to Rocket Fist. Rocket Fist was the last on our list here. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Iron Cast, Flip Wars, Phantom Trigger, Rocket Fist. I kind of hopped around a little bit. It's my bad. Oh, yeah. It's my yeah. Bad. My God. I know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen, we're on with the review. It's Let's Play. We're talking all about Iron Cast. As I said, I think it takes place in 1886. Uh, it's very steampunk. I love the style. You, it's basically like Charlie's Angels if it was set in 1886. You start out as a lady character. Um, you can unlock, I believe, four more characters, three more. Um, I wound up playing as one of the dudes who had the fanciest mustache around. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I had to. I thought he was super cool. Uh, you talk to, uh, like, a Victrola. He gives you orders from the front. Uh, as you pick around this map, you have four different things that you can choose from and basically you can complete the objective within six days so it's six different matches that you can play uh, and then the boss will have reached the, de the destination uh, and you'll lose or you can just go fight the boss when you're pretty weak uh, this game is a little unforgiving my man you think so a little unforgiving a little unforgiving yeah uh, I mean it's a little when you lose you lose you gotta you, start all over. You do. You you definitely. When it's bad, it's bad. And there's a few different things like going on in order to like if you want to achieve success in this game. Like it's it's part gym game, and then it's also part like real time. Like well, it's actually not real time. It's like turn based strategy. Turn based strategy. There's also a little element of risk in it. Like yeah, th th there's that a bit of risk because where you choose to fight people on the map can actually slow the pace of the boss getting to where the boss needs to go. And you're also kind of like trying to manage, like you have a bunch of different systems that you have to kind of make sure are charged up, or you very well will find yourself like, yeah, like you'll be overheated and you can't move. You won't be able to raise your shields. You won't be able to like shoot your gun. You won't be able to keep it cool. Um, there's a lot of things going on, and, and that on top of you have to try to pay attention to how the enemy is managing their resources. Uh, mm -hmm. You have to choose like which part you're gonna attack whether you're gonna focus on their weapons or their shields or their movement maybe you want to try to disable them um so you really kind of have to like play your cards right not to mention you have to be keep paying attention to the the gym game because if you're not setting yourself up like gym wise to be able to connect a lot of the things um you're not going to be able to fill up all of your like reservoirs to be able to attack with you won't have enough ammo you won't have enough shields like you said, you'll overheat. Mm -hmm. uh, you can pick up repair stuff. You can pick up more money. Um, there's a lot of sick combos that can be made. And I love a sick combo. Big fan. I loved when... So basically, like, ammo is, like, one color. Energy is another. Um, the coolant is another color. And normally, you can you can connect as many things together as you want in order to, like, like grab them and use them uh, in your, like, inventory. Uh, but you can't really switch from one color to another unless there's a special uh, piece out there so I really love when you can kind of like string them together and just keep collecting 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 um, and I do like that it does let you go back so if you find a way that uh, is a little bit better than what you first thought when you were kind of tracing the path out you're not like totally out of luck yeah it's great man uh, I love the animations in this the graphics are nice it's basically you know 2d the cutscenes are sort of the single picture and dialogue bo boxes but there is you know vocal there's sound there uh they do do the lines they read them to you voices are fun they're interesting they're timely very timely i'd say the scene is set very well and the music is great but well, the music was really good no i agree with you and i love the i love that you point out the the fact that there's voiceover which i'm i know is like a stupid thing to get excited about but i I feel like you don't a, get a lot of voiceover. No, you re you really don't. Especially um, on Nintendo, just in general. Yeah, Nintendo I mean, doesn't do a lot of voiceover. At most, they do a "Hey, listen" mm -hmm. and a "Ho ho." 
And I'm like, yeah. And by then, we really should have had like voice, you know? Like, oh, come on, it's not that mm-hmm. not that difficult. Um, so I appreciate when a game goes in like does like all the little the little details. And I really like how this is a puzzle game, but it's a puzzle game with like a story, and it's a unique one. You know? Yeah, it is an interesting story. It's a it's a fun play, um, and it's you know it's a little difficult as I said, uh, but I I definitely like it. Uh, I'd probably give it a five. How about you, man? You're giving this a perfect score. Uh, probably a four point five. I'm, 4. I'm like, that's 5. okay. You can you can give it a perfect score. Four point five. Um, I do I do like this game. It was uh, it was a lot of fun. I don't know if I quite like it as much as um, uh, Level Up uh, Plus. That's the thing. I like Level Up Plus more, and that's definitely a five. But Level Up Plus is like a pure, almost a purer puzzle game. Mm-hmm. Yet it does have the same like elements of leveling up things and worrying about different boxes. Yeah, so that's why I'm like, eh, it's probably not a five, but it's weird. It's yeah. a, it's in this weird medium. So I'd say four, four point five. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna agree. I'm gonna agree with you. I'm I'm right there. Um, the only reason that I probably wouldn't like the the one thing I like a little bit more about level level plus or levels level plus an addictive puzzle game or whatever it's called. <laughs> it's really long t- <laughs> really long title. Uh, it's worth searching out. Um, but I like that because it's I can pick it up and I can play it. Uh, and in a couple minutes, you kind of know what's going on. There's more it's simpler. Yeah, it's 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 and it simpler. Gives you nice achievements. Exactly. Um, you know, you get medals still or trophies or whatever. In this, I wish you had something like that to be like, oh, cool, you made such a sick combo there. No, that would be that would be fun. Um, but I like how this is. Uh, you know, I like how this is a puzzle game, but also with a story. And I'd say it's equal part real time strategy or a turn-based strategy and then an equal part puzzle. Uh, and I think that might be what's what's tripped me up a little bit, at, bit about it. But by tripping me up, I mean, it's. I'd still say it's like four and a half or a four. Um, it's still a really solid game, especially for twelve ninety nine. Oh God, yeah. For twelve ninety nine, I definitely would say pick it up. Yeah. Definitely, definitely get this one. Yeah, for sure, man. But what do you all think, ladies and gentlemen? Let us know if you got to pick up Iron Cast or anything else. Uh this uh week on the switch it up show uh on twitter uh that's where we're at uh, i of course have been your host at seth trav joined by our friend glenn he is at from the crib from all of us here ladies and gentlemen we want to remind you that if things ever get boring we can always switch it up <laughs>